only on NBC4. I'm at Costco on McKinley. There was gunshot. New video obtained by the NBC4 I team this week shows the aftermath of a police shooting inside a Costco store in Corona. Okay, what happened? Now, it's raising new questions about what happened for the family of the man who was killed. I said he thought I saw a black handgun. As I came over here, in the deceased right there, I, we couldn't find the black handgun. Now, Kenneth French died after he was shot in the back. His parents, who were wounded, they survived. They have filed a lawsuit against the former LAPD officer who pulled the trigger. Our investigative reporter, Eric Leonard, has more now on how the material the I team made public this week could possibly change the case. I think it probably raises more questions than answers. Kenneth French's family attorney, Dale Gallipo, says even he hadn't seen or heard some of the video and audio recordings in our reporting this week that showed the chaotic minutes after former officer Salvador Sanchez opened fire. He says it was difficult for French's parents and brother to see the recordings of Sanchez captured moments after the gunfire. They feel that he is very disingenuous. They feel that his statements made were very dishonest, that it was someone trying to come up with a reason for doing something so horrific in the middle of a Costco. The I-team obtained those recordings, plus reports and photos from police files that showed much more publicly than had been seen before about what happened in the June 2019 shooting inside the store. Okay, what happened? When former LAPD officer Salvador Sanchez, while off-duty, shot and killed 32-year-old Kenneth French and wounded French's parents. I see a blast and I feel my head get knocked off. Uh -huh. And I fall to the ground and drop my son. Sanchez telling Corona police officers that he thought he'd been shot in the head when, in reality, Sanchez had been punched in the head by Kenneth French in an unprovoked and still unexplained assault. Sanchez said he thought French was armed and said that's why he fired. I thought I got shot. I still feel pain in the side of my head. Investigators found no gun on or near Kenneth's body, and a drone flown through the Costco found no weapons anywhere else in the store. The French family's federal lawsuit against Sanchez and the LAPD is moving through court. Sanchez may sit for a a deposition this month. Galipo says he believes the video and information shown this week shows the former officer's account isn't credible. And he says hearing it from the former officer himself in the recordings was also upsetting to the French family. And having an officer saying your brother had a gun in his hand, pointing it at the officer, and that's why I had to shoot him. Knowing that story is completely untrue, it's very difficult for the family to listen to that. The LAPD fired Sanchez in July 2020 after its own investigation concluded the shooting had violated department policy. Sanchez and his attorney say that decision was incorrect and that the blow to the head caused Sanchez to become disoriented and perceive what he thought was a real threat. Prosecutors in Riverside County decided in 2019 not to file criminal charges. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.